All right, all right, let me start this video off like this. A man's gotta do what a man's gotta do. So I've got kind of a little weak stomach, but uh, I just gotta step up and do what I gotta do for my family and this old house. So here's the situation. Um, we started having a smell coming out of this area right here in the house where the hot water heater is coming up from there. We're like, what is that? <clears throat> so long story short, started exploring underneath the house and found out that here's our sink right here. Okay, the water came down. Here's the drain underneath. You can kind of see under there, drain underneath, garbage disposal. And that old pipe right there was leaking. You see how I fixed it up, patched it up, had to tear into the wall, had to rip the dishwasher out. It was, it was awful. Anyway, so fix that up and now Hopefully this will be my last day. I'm gonna head under the house and fix this thing right. I'm gonna take you with me, let you see what happened under the house as the garbage disposal poured food and water for, I'm gonna guess, maybe up to a month underneath the house, just laying there in the crawl space. I'll see you down there in a second. All right, so I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what's happening. Um, so. Got to have the face mask, as many lights as I can get. I got my lantern here, two lights in case one goes out because it is dark under there. Got my socks tucked into my jeans. Got my gloves. Now, my plan right now, when I get under there, you'll see what's going on, is we are going to basically replace some of the plastics that's down there because the garbage disposal has been dumping food all over the ground down there. So I'm going to pick up the the plastic that's already there fold it up nice and neat i hope we'll see leave that food in the middle of it so it doesn't get all over me and then replace it all right drag it drag out the nastiness in some 55 gallon uh trash bags and that'll be that so i'll show you what it's like i'm kind of lucky it's got you know a decent crawl space um but it's not i can't stand up it's not that big anyways i'll see you down there all right, here's my crawl space. Ugh, not horrible, but I'm six foot, two inches tall, and it's a little bit cramped in there, but I can handle it. Uh, I got my trash bags and everything. It's kind of dark in here, you see? It's stinking in here a little bit. Let me get my lights on. I don't want a red light. That's better. There we go. Couple lights. Ah. Ah. All right, in the house. Got my stuff here. Keep on cruising. Something I found interesting is that somebody's already been under here, dug a trench around the outside, and follow that trench all the way up here. It's got. Now you can see where water's been running across it. All the way through here. A little catch basin for it right there. And then it drains out that hole you see in the back of there. Most of it does, some of it does. Yeah, it down. I don't know where it's going. It's going somewhere. Alright, let's get to the other end of the house. Getting close. Where we need to go now I'll give you a little rundown of what i've had going on so i had a vacation come up I've been gone 11 days so i came down here assessed everything and realized <clears throat> it's got a lot more than i'm used to handling so i'm like 
I gotta, I gotta dry this out. So, oh, you hear, hear and see a fan down here. <clears throat> it's been blowing on top of the water problem for about, or oh, this entire time. Ooh, spider wheel. Woo. Ah, spider. Anyway, so been drying out for you've seen this area now there's a fan that right there has been drying out for 11 days and it's still wet so it's a lot a lot of water I hope you can see all that white that's food that's maggots dead flies all that stuff Let's get a little closer here. And uh, I'm about to, uh, let me turn this fan off. All right, you're under here with me. And I came down here. This right here was leaking. You can see all the sewage right there. That's sewage stuff. And so I'm like, okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace that. I replaced that, there's the old one. Hanging right there, it's right there too. Had to crawl through all this because the hole itself was way over there. I'll tell you what, let me get over there and then I'll, uh, I'll show you a little bit more about it. There are just quite a few flies in here. Not flies, I mean, as I thought. Anyway, so, to get over here, all these wires. Still kind of moist in here. That, I had to tighten that up, that black boot. But the food, the garbage disposal, coming down from right there, you actually still see some food particles. And it looks like it's drying up pretty good. I'm going to take that fan out of here. I don't know if it's actually cooling it off and may slowing the process down. I don't know, but we're going to get this all this out of here. Anyway, so I'm going to I spray some, sprayed some bleach in here yesterday. Hopefully kill some stuff before I, I did all this. So I'm going to pick up all this plastic. Hopefully as neat as I can. And... Uh, <laughs> We'll get all this out of here and hopefully I won't be done. I'm not coming down here again. Oh, here we go. So let me let me get this started. Find a good spot there. Here's some wet over here. Didn't dry good out at all down here. I'm hoping that'll just dry on its own. Anyways. All right, let me get to work. I'll turn this on a time warp. Hopefully you can see me working a little bit. And I'll show you what we got here in a little bit. All right, so I've done some reevaluating. There's just so much stuff sitting on top of this plastic. I'm not gonna be able to get it out of here. I feel like I'm gonna need to come down here with some pliers and cut stuff up. So I'm gonna leave it here. You know, it's been drying. It took two weeks, and that's been that's really close to dry right there. Give it another week or so, that'll dry. Things will decompose. I I, I noticed that. This plastic is on top of another plastic. So I'm I'm not gonna lay another plastic down. I'm not even gonna try to pick this up. It'll dry out, it'll flake away, it'll it'll be fine. I've got some bleach on it. No reason to mess with it. The smell's going away. I might throw some lime down here. If the smell doesn't go away in a couple days, I'm gonna do take some lime, bring it down here. 
anyway so i'm done down here i am i'm gonna i might put this fan i don't know i may take the fan out oh let me think about that a little bit the fan the fan to me it might be causing it to dry up quicker but the main thing i'm thinking is this i think it might be stopping the flies from being down here and laying their eggs in here because when i came down here last week before we went on vacation all that white stuff you see right there that was maggots there was ten thousand maggots right there so you can see they all they all are dead because it's drying up and there's no more being laid right there no more eggs so i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it as is let me know what you think comments you know i will i love for you to comment on me give me some advice suggestions tell me what you think i'm not gonna get in over my head though i'm not gonna start pulling back and pulling all this plastic back and it's it's just here i mean that's it's fine it's not hurting a thing down here as long as the smell goes away you can barely smell it now <clears throat> and, I'm, and i'm thinking that gradually that smell just goes away and goes away and goes away anyways i'm gonna i'm gonna crawl out of here i'm out see ya I'm out of here. Uh. Oh, that was fun. like this stuff like subscribe main thing comment let me know what you think should i leave that stuff down there uh. Woo. all right especially all you gurus out there let me know should i leave all that stuff out there or down there underneath the house is going to dry out and be fine. Am I asking for something later? I don't know. Anyway, it's not fun, but man's got to do what a man's got to do. I have no experience at this at all. But maybe a little common sense will work things out in the end. All right, thanks for watching. And again, comment. Let me know. Now... <laughs> What I'm going to do is I'm going to go and install my dishwasher that I, I ripped out the old one, the old 30-year-old one, trying to get to that hole in the wall, destroyed it. So bought Mama a new one. She's excited. And, you know, uh, we're going to install that. And I'll make another video on that. And if you'd like to watch it, look for it on uh, the videos in the on, on the channel. Anyways, thanks a lot. And we'll see you on the next video.